What's up, nerds? So, Aventurine's character preview, as well as his light cone preview, came out last night. So let's go ahead and take a look at his character preview in this video. I made a separate video for his light cone. I'll put a link to that in the pinned comment and description below if you want to take a look at that. But let's take a look at this kit and abilities. This is the most updated information we're going to get before his actual release. So let's go ahead and take a look at his traces first. Uh, for every 100 of Aventurine's defense that exceeds a certain value, it increases his own crit rate up to a maximum limit. So I can't tell you the multiplier for this, but what I can say, or what I will say, is that it's really, really big. This is like dang near Jing Li Yu amounts of crit rate he's going to be getting. It's going to be absolutely nuts. So you don't have to worry about building too much crit rate on him because it should be pretty easy to be able to reach a good threshold so you can get your crits off. Anyways, it's associated with his talent, obviously. Um, now let's go ahead and take a look at the next trace here. When battle starts, it grants all allies a fortified wager shield, whose shield is whose shield effect is equal to a certain percentage of the one provided by the skill, lasting for a number of turns. So this is really, really great because it's passive. It's always there. It's just when the battle starts, boom. It grants all allies a fortified wager shield which is associated with the effects that his skill would normally have. And we'll take a look at his skill in just a moment so you can kind of see what kind of shield he'll be getting. It's essentially a usage of his skill without him actually really having to do anything, which is pretty nutty. That's usually something you'd see on like a technique, not something you'd necessarily see on just a static trace. So this is really, really great to see. This is practically like an extra ability attached to a trace. Anyway, let's take a look at this next trace here. After an ally with Fortified Wager launches a follow-up attack, Aventurine accumulates one blind bet point. This effect can trigger up to a certain number of times. Its trigger count resets at the start of Aventurine's turn. After Aventurine launches his talent's follow-up attack, it provides all allies with a fortified wager that can block a certain amount of damage, and additionally grants a fortified wager that can block a certain amount of damage to the ally with the lowest shield effect, lasting for a number of turns. So Every single one of these traces really helps synergize with his talent, which is basically like building up these these uh, these these shields, stacking the shields on top of each other, and being able to protect your team while also building up his uh, blind bet points so that he can trigger his follow-up attack, getting off the follow-up attack, reset, you know, rinse and repeat, that kind of stuff. And whenever he does get that follow-up attack, whenever he uses his ultimate as well, he'll have an increased amount of crit rate. That's basically how the traces work and some of the rest of his kit. Let's go look at the rest of his kit now. So these are the leveling materials. In case you didn't already have them pre-farmed, you can start pre-farming for him now. Everything's already out. You can just go grab this stuff right now and have him ready to go on day one. So let's go ahead and take a look at his technique here because his technique is an interesting one. Um, and I'll, I'll have a little bit of a tip that, uh, with his technique as well. Um, so after using the technique, randomly obtain one effect from three types of defense boost effects. Repeated use of this technique results in the retention of the effect with the highest value. When the next battle starts, increases all allies' defense by the corresponding value, lasting for a certain number of turns. So what this essentially does is this will give you, like it says here at the top, one of three different types of defense bonuses and you have a higher chance of getting like a lower defense number and a lower chance of getting the higher defense number essentially this is a gotcha gambling moment before you start battle now in memory of chaos you only have what is that five different technique points if you have a team that's able to use a multitude of effect uh, sorry technique points like ting yun for example usually likes to use two technique points before battle not everybody's aware that she can do that and it actually works but yeah she can do that and so you want to use you want to save as many technique points as you have for the rest of your team if they're available to you so in my opinion you don't want to necessarily sit here you know hitting this over and over and over again trying to give him some really really fat number in my opinion you just want to use it once before battle and hope for the best because you're going to get a defense boost when you go into battle it's just a matter of how good the defense boost will be and do you even really need the higher number defense boosts i don't think so because i've seen the value for the lowest one and that's already still pretty good i think you're gonna be just fine 
it's just a fun little thing you can do before combat and, you know, spin the wheel a little bit. Anyways, let's move forward. His technique's totally fine. Nothing really bad there. His basic attack is, you know, a basic attack. Just, you know, it's an enemy. Cool. His talent is where his bread... This is where everything happens. You know what I mean? This is where pretty much everything goes down. And then his ultimate kind of helps him a little bit with that. So let's take a look at this stuff. Shot loaded right. For any single ally with fortified wager, their effect res increases... And when they get attacked, Aventurine gains blind bet. When Aventurine has fortified wager, he can resist crowd control debuffs. This effect can trigger again after a certain number of turns. Aventurine additionally gains blind bet after getting attacked. Upon reaching a certain number of blind bet points, Aventurine consumes the points to launch multiple hits of follow-up attacks, with each hit dealing imaginary damage to a single random enemy. Blind bet has an upper limit. So... He can build up a ton of these like stacks, I guess you could say, these tech, these points, whatever you might want to call it, and he can essentially build up to his follow-up attack, and then once his follow-up attack cracks off, it will, you know, go off automatically. And his follow-up attack is a bounce type of effect. It's not called a bounce type of effect, but it essentially works the same way as like Sampo's bounce effect or any other characters that has a bounce effect in this game, where each individual hit can hit any of the enemies on the field. It's completely random. All of his follow-up attack hits could individually hit the same enemy, believe it or not. And if there's only one enemy on the field, all of those hits automatically go to that one enemy. Um, but it could hit every single enemy on the field, almost like an AoE. It's not technically an AoE, but it could work in a similar way. So... That's kind of like the easiest way I can kind of describe this is that this is all about, you know, for any uh, single ally with Fortified Wager there. Yeah, it gives an effect res buff and they get attacked of Aventurine gains blind bet. Um, those, those are charges of his follow up synergy. When Aventurine has Fortified Wager, he can resist crowd control of debuffs, which is very, very nice. This effect can trigger again after a certain number of turns. So, yeah. This is basically all about building up his follow-up attack synergy while also giving some effect res uh, to your team and also, you know, helping resist crowd control de uh, debuffs, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and move forward to his skill. This is, uh, let's see here, uh, provides all allies with a fortified wager shield lasting for a certain number of turns. When fortified wager is gained repeatedly, the shield effect can stack up to a certain limit. Um, so basically he stacks up a bunch of shields and this is how he protects your team while building up the follow-up attack. So that's, it's kind of not that complicated of a skill, but it's very, very important, uh, because like you, like you might already be aware, he's a shield based character. He doesn't heal. So you want to, you know, keep those stacks up because <laughs> if you'd run out of those stacks, his shield will fall off and you'll start taking damage and nobody wants that. Anyways, his ultimate will help synergize with his uh, follow-up attack synergy as well. Randomly gains a certain number of blind bet points, then inflicts unnerved on a single target enemy for a certain number of turns and deals imaginary damage to the target enemy. When any ally hits an unnerved enemy target, the crit damage dealt is increased. And this is a note, again, I'm not going to be able to tell you the exact multiplier, but I've seen the multiplier. It's a noteworthy amount of crit damage that you will be getting. So he's going to love being on any team that you have that is based heavily around dealing crit damage. And he also gets a random amount of blind bet charges. Um, so this will help you build up, you know, those points for his follow up. And again, he also debuffs the enemy. So this ultimate as it is a debuff. On that single target that you get to choose it's not a random enemy and so he'll deal a little bit of damage but mostly the important part is he gets to debuff that specific enemy obviously you're going to end up choosing the elite or the boss enemy whoever it may be that way you can deal increased crit on that enemy and it's whenever any ally hits that enemy they will take increased crit damage that does mean by the way that you have to land your crit so as the age-old saying goes your crit won't deal any damage unless you actually hit the crit. So yeah, crit damage is a big, fun, juicy number to be able to build towards, but build enough crit rate or you won't get the bonus. 
there you go. Anyways, if you found any of this informative or helpful in any way, shape, or form, consider leaving a like and subscribe. That's essentially how his kit all works. I left a pinned comment and the description link for the light cone if you're interested in that. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Let me know if you guys are pulling for the character. Peace out.